When a country is all about being hashtag blessed, what do they do when they can't find any comfort? This is exactly what the Israelites went through after their city was destroyed and many of them were taken into captivity. They had nothing left. All they could do is lament. Hey guys, it's Sean from Empty Church. And this is where we make videos to help you engage your faith on the six days between Sundays when the church buildings are empty. This is my recap of what we do every Sunday when we gather together. This is Empty Church as seen on Sunday. First up, Josh is going to read us the verse of the week. Lamentations 1.19. Take it away. Lamentations 119 says this, I called to my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and elders, they perished in the city while they sought food to revive their strength. Now we move into a time of confession. Read the prayer along with me. Father, we have forgotten you as our comforter. We seek comfort in other things which deceive us, but in the end, we only can find true comfort in you. Help us know when the priests are steering us wrong. Don't let us become like those who indulge in other lovers or heed the religious leaders who tell us what we want to hear. We become dead or destitute. We are broken, but don't even know it. We cannot consider that the truth might be different than the narrative that we've been taught. The same surprise came to the Israelites when they were finally destroyed after having forsaken you. We confess that we deserve the same fate as the Israelites had as we read in Lamentations. God forgive us. I chose this verse of the week because of the two groups that are in it, lovers and priests. The two are kind of universal comforters. Think about this, lovers, for obvious reasons, usually they're comforters. And then priests, everyone likes to know that like the big man upstairs is looking out for him. And a priest is usually the embodiment of, of uh, prayers coming down to, to help you out. So both are very comforting. The problem is, in this passage, the lovers have deceived us and the priests are dead. And the priests are the very ones that told people that they didn't need to heed Jeremiah's warnings against turning and repenting and going back to God. In both instances, the comforters are gone. The word comfort appears in Lamentations 1 five times. This is because Lamentations 1 is all about the death of Jerusalem. And when there's a death, we want comfort. And so Lamentations 1 is about them not having comfort after the death of their society. There's no comfort to be found in their lovers, their priests, or elders. And so all they have left is to lament. I think there are a lot of parallels between Israel and the United States. Think about this. Israel is God's chosen people and they lived this way except they sought other gods. And the same goes for America. Many people believe that America was founded on Christian values and they always say, God bless America, and many things like that. Except, America is not a Christian nation, and it certainly worships many other gods. And so, it seems like Israel and America, in their own timelines, were definitely very similar when it comes to thinking that they're blessed by God, 
but not actually acknowledging God for who he is. Ultimately, this leads to being in a place where there is no comfort. I think this is because we're seeking for comforts in the wrong things, and we're forgetting about God being the ultimate and only true comforter. Just as Jesus says in the book of Revelation to the church in Ephesus that they have forsaken their first love, I think many Christians today have forsaken their first love. They've been deceived by other lovers and found comfort, although false comfort, in those other lovers. But the truth will ultimately come out at the time of our destruction. So what do we do? Do we just turn back to the ultimate comforter in God and everything will be hunky-dory? I think the actual first step is lamenting where we've been and how far we've gone away from God. And then maybe we can start returning to the comforter. But not until we've first taken the proper time to mourn and lament where we are today. My challenge this week is to cry out to God. Like, literally cry. And at that moment, he just might reveal himself as the comforter. I know the video was heavy this week, but if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. For more ways to engage your faith on the six days between Sundays, check out our website at www.empty.church. Again, I'm Sean, and I know it's not the same as being here, but you've just been to Empty Church as seen on Sunday. See you next week. It's time to make music. La la la. Done.